Come on, Liliana. Come on, come on. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, man. Pull the fucking car around. We gotta get her out of here. Tommy. Come on, she need help. What the fuck is you just staring at me for? She gone, Tommy. Come on, Lil. I know if not all power fans, then most of power fans are not happy about one thing in Power Book 4 Force, and that is Liliana's death. Is there any reason at all for Liliana to be killed? Could this have played differently for her to stay alive? In this video, I'm going to talk about Liliana's death and why she was killed off, the link between Power Book 2 and Power Book 4, and whether or not Blanca will be coming to Chicago. I will also be touching on Kate when she said Tommy couldn't give her a grandson, and I will also be talking about the Flame family, the way forward, and the fate of the Doctor. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now, let's move straight into business. Before then, I mentioned in episode 6 video that d Mark thought his father and Tommy were together. That's why he rejected Jenna's offer. Lots of people said he knew Tommy was his father's brother by then and I keep saying no. As at episode 6, only we the audience knew the family relation between them. Now, in episode 9, d Mark himself has this to say. I followed you to that old house. I saw y'all there together. I didn't know you was fam. So you see, he was indeed clueless as to who Tommy was to his father by then. Now, let's move on to the grand finale. Wow. If I had to do a review on Liliana's future in Power Force, I would have said a lot of things and killing her wouldn't be an option. I am pissed off about the fact that she has been killed and I know a lot of you are not happy about this as well. Drop your feelings in the comment section with regards to Liliana's death. Let's grieve together. Personally, I think her death could have been avoided and it's about time these writers start thinking more about the audience than their own imagination. This was the same thing they did with Proctor, killed him off and later realized Proctor shouldn't have been killed at that time. First, we thought Gloria could have survived a little longer and she was killed, but I didn't anticipate they would kill off Liliana so soon. But well, it is what it is. Let's see the game plan they will have to keep Liliana's fans excited about the show. Now, let's see why they possibly have to kill Liliana off. Liliana became Tommy's loyal partner the moment he decided to stay in Chicago. Even though he had issues in trusting her in the beginning, their bond became one of the best along the way and for a minute, some of us don't miss Tommy and Ghost moments that much anymore. You want me to roll up there with you? No, I'm good. I'll link up after. That's sweet though, I really appreciate you looking out. Well, I got you. What? I'm gonna hug or what? Could you stop that? <laughs> now, Liliana's acting at a point was dominating and gaining more interest with the viewers. I think keeping Liliana in the show for a longer period was going to divert attention from Tommy as the main subject since it is his show. Secondly, in the beginning, Liliana was Tommy's weakness until JP was exposed and now another weakness to Tommy. I also feel like they have brought too many weaknesses to Tommy at the very short period when he was going to war. From JP to Liliana to d Mac and now Kate, not to talk of the doctor who is his business weakness. I feel they wanted one of his weaknesses gone. JP can't go because he's like Tommy's supporting character now. d Mac can't also go without some family reunion with his father. The doctor can't go yet because She's the brain behind Dahlia. Now, the person who can go without any question is Liliana. That's why from the beginning, she said she has nothing to lose. And because they have never established Liliana's family, they feel the need to kill her off. Also, keeping Liliana alive for long might trigger some possibility of her finding GP attractive to have a relationship with. But let's look at things this way. Could Liliana have been saved? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and let's interact. But I think she could have been saved. There was no need for her to be killed by Claudia. Claudia, as I know, has not handled gun that much to be able to shoot and kill Liliana with one bullet. And I don't think Claudia was trying to kill Liliana. I think she was just trying to stop her from shooting her father or her uncle. This means that they were trying to kill Liliana's character off at all costs. They could have made Claudia come in earlier to justify that Tommy didn't order the hit on Vic and Gloria. Then Liliana would have survived. Well, rest in peace to Liliana and I hope they don't regret killing her off too early just like they did with Proctor. Now, I want to touch on why Liliana let the doctor go. If you remember when she had the scar, Tommy cared less about her and even wished her dead. Ghost and Julio saved her and gave her money to run. So in this case, Liliana is doing to the doctor 
what has been done to her by Julio and Ghost. I don't know what you think, but leave your thoughts in the comment section and let's interact on these matters. Do you think Liliana should have died or you also think she had more to offer? Or perhaps you are also pissed at her death? Let me hear from you. Now moving on, we saw Blanca, Medina and co in the finale back in New York. What is going to happen is that there will be a link between book two and book four. And I don't think Blanca will be coming to Chicago just after her new boss told her to focus on cases in New York. But then we all know Blanca to be stubborn when it comes to taking orders from her bosses. Typical example was when she insisted on getting a warrant to search Ghost's hotel room for evidence. Another is when she moved to Two Beat in jail to make a deal with him after Tommy shot Spanky. So we'll be seeing that persistence in her again moving forward. Now this is what I think Blanca would do. As we know, she is currently working on Mecca's murder case and Tariq is on her list of suspects. So obviously she can't run straight to Chicago ASAP for this case. So she might request for the suspect list and images from Chicago if that is possible. And I'm sure she will see Tommy's image amongst them. She will then realize Tommy isn't dead as reported. And if I am Blanca, I will approach Tariq with this information or pass a comment about Tommy's existence to Tariq. Now, if Tariq realizes Tommy's cover has been blown, he will have to find Tommy and give him heads up that their initial plan failed. And since Tariq doesn't have Tommy's number, I won't be surprised if he comes to Chicago to look for his uncle. So if Tariq and Tommy will ever cross paths again, I believe it will be Tommy's cover that might be blown for Tariq to come looking for his uncle. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, moving on. Tommy and Kate's moment was dope if you ask me. Kate made a statement about Tommy not giving her a grandson. You never gave me one, so I kind of gave up on the idea. What Kate never knew was that Tommy would have given her a grandchild if Harley was still alive. And this statement from Kate alone made Tommy remember Harley for a minute. That is why he made this statement. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Now, this reunion will be revealing some hidden secrets that we never knew. And I think d Mark has a lot of questions for his grandmother. Now, moving forward, the Flynn family will no longer be the same after Vic knowing the truth. And I'm sure he will tell his sister about the state of their father's health and how he chose not to tell her. And Walter is going to find it difficult to run his business without his children on his side. Claudia, who handles paperwork, might not do so for her father moving forward. And Vic, who runs the streets, might not do so for some time as well. Now, let me touch on Diamond and Jernard. Expectations were that Diamond should have killed Jernard. Yes, I also wanted him dead because he is becoming a nuisance. But we need to understand the role Jernard is playing as an antagonist to his brother and Tommy. The writer needs to create a lot of conflict along the way. The same way they are keeping Kane in book 2 for antagonistic purposes and situations. If the writer were to make Diamond kill Jernard, the beauty of the story might change and become boring. We will only have Diamond with his newfound girl and the next thing we will see is just love story from them. Then again, we will only have one antagonist which is Walter. And we all know Walter is sick and might die soon so he can't antagonize people for long. Jenard has a strong reason to survive until they introduce another antagonist. So in this case, I'm looking at the police becoming the major antagonist in the coming season. Now, a quick shout out to HWF Live. He said we won't be seeing two beats in this season. So if he's right, I must give him a shout out. So shout out to you, HWF Live. Yes, you are right. No two beats. Now, if you like this video, kindly like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.